When it comes to video games, they can generally be placed into two categories, games that are fun and games that really just aren't. While initially it may seem that easy, there is more that it can come down to when categorizing a game. One of these anomalies would be how brilliant the experience was for that game. What I mean by this is the artistic aspects of the game coming together to create an astonishing playthrough. The writing, art style, music, directing, and flow of the game all contribute to a brilliant experience. While a game's experience may seem amazing and unique, that doesn't necessarily mean the game is fun, and at the end of the day, per Personally, in order for me to truly love a game, I need to have fun playing it. Of course, fun is subjective, and for most people, the qualification for a game to be fun differ. I would say I really care about gameplay mechanics and just making sure I don't find anything stale about the game and how it plays. I wouldn't find it fun to be given a gun and combat system just for me to never have any fun using it due to the lack of depth that gameplay mechanic has. Also, I take into consideration any and all annoyances that game may have. Usual offenders of this would be an inefficient inventory system, way too overly complex upgrades, stats and skill systems, and confusing map design and structure to the point where I'm constantly getting lost and having to backtrack to places I've already been. In terms of fun games, I've played tons of them. One of the more recent games that I've played that fits this category very well would have to be Doom 2016. I know I'm a little late, but that doesn't change how fun it is to run and gun all the demons in your path. What makes this game fun for me is just how fast paced the game is while still feeling so fluid and extremely smooth. The combat in this game is incredibly fun, having to utilize all the weapons in your arsenal to your advantage and having to choose which weapons to use in order to save some ammo for a certain gun and whatnot. The traversal is also very satisfying, running and jumping all around the area you're in to get around and avoid your enemy's attacks while simultaneously giving them a taste of shotgun shells and plasma shots. Now while this game is very fun, I can't say I can fully put it in the brilliant experience category. Some aspects of this game make it a valid consideration for this category, but it is still lacking in certain areas. For example, while I believe the atmosphere of every level and map design is truly beautiful and pleasant to look at, the areas do start to seem very repetitive with the only changes being how the map is laid out and what is where. On top of this, the story isn't anything crazy compelling unless you want to sit there and read through all the lore that the game throws at you. All the game shows you and has you do is go to a place while killing demons, then go to another place while killing demons, grab this thing, grab that, kill demons. The story is definitely not the reason people talk so highly of the game and that's for sure. This may seem like a negative, but in all honesty, for this game specifically, it really isn't. This game didn't need need to have some Last of Us level story because it is a fun time. See, games that are fun don't need to be brilliant, but when we flip this, it becomes a little trickier. Brilliant games would be games such as Death Stranding for me. It has a unique story, beautiful environment, the directing is just insane, and it just gives off a feeling of something grander and larger when you're traversing the world. This is what makes it a brilliant game, but unfortunately, this game lacks any type of fun. There are combat mechanics, there are vehicle mechanics, there are quests, missions, boss fights, and things to do, but that's just because there needs to be in order for it to be a video game. The main mechanic of the game is walking, and I really can't justify this as being a fun game, but I would gladly see sit down and watch Death Stranding the TV show or Death Stranding the movie rather than playing Death Stranding the video game and that is typically how brilliant experiences are for me. While I don't enjoy playing them, I come out appreciating the experience I just witnessed, whether it be more for the story, the art, or the music. But what if there were games that were both brilliant and fun? Well fortunately for us, there are those games. Obviously these still are subjective, but these games, no matter who you talk to, are universally put on a higher pedestal than other games. The most fitting game for this category for me would have to be God of War. This game is absolutely amazing in my opinion. Just from the start, you are made aware of its brilliant tendencies, with amazing shots, beautiful art design as seen in the environment and the characters, and great dialogue between Kratos and his son Atreus. Then you get to fight some enemies and get the feel for the gameplay, and if you're anything like me, you'll be completely blown away. This game is just straight up fun. Slashing through enemies using combos that you've earned through upgrades, using Atreus to help you with larger groups, getting a whole second set of skills when you unlock the Blades of Chaos, it's a blast all the way until the end and then some when you continue to explore the world, fighting those troublesome Valkyries, and exploring more of the lore. You fall in love with the relationship between Kratos and his son Atreus. You care for the enemy Baldur and his situation with his mother, the Witch of the Woods, that helped you throughout the game. This game is all in one shot as well, which just adds to this beautiful experience. Another game that I would say is very close, if not in the same category, would have to be Breath of the Wild. This game is special because I feel as if it was the first game to truly nail the open world. There's so much to do, the world is truly yours to explore. The music, the art, 
the lore, the discoveries all come together to add that brilliance. The combat and exploration contribute to the game's fun as well. You see, there's always going to be brilliant games and fun games, and on their own they are gaming marvels and are still good games for the most part. But when the two aspects come together, it can create something truly extraordinary, leaving the gaming world a wonderfully created masterpiece that blesses any player to touch it.